Welcome back everybody. This is Steve KM9G and I have been playing around with this Zygu 6100. This is day one still. I got it last night. We did a live stream last night on the channel. Look for that. Uh, I just did another video on missing Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and now I'm playing around with WSJTX. I'm going to give this a gimme because WSJTX was invented the day before yesterday and this radio was invented yesterday. And we should be able to get it to work, but who knows? So what I've got set up right now, you can see my FL Digi setup over here. Well, you can see it right below me. For me, it's over there. There? Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Camera Cameras are fun. At any rate, um, WSJTX, you can see that it's set up for the IC7300. The IC7300 is what I currently have plugged into my antenna wire. And then I have signals coming in over WSJTX. You can see it in the waterfall display. I'm going to pick an open frequency and I'm going to call CQ and see what I get back. This should prove that everything is working for you. The radio just went into transmit mode. The PTT is open. Let me pick file settings and I've got the Burr Brown, which is the audio interface that comes inside of the 7300 for radio for radio. I've got it set to FL rig and split operation is rig and PTT is cat and it's it's doing the thing and that's what I wanted you to see it's doing the thing. Let's see if we can get a contact. Maybe I should have done FT4 would have taken half the time. I know you're thinking the 7300's a 100 watt rig. Where's TO going with this? That's not where I'm going with this. It has nothing to do with power output. I'll switch this over to CCQ only and maybe I'll find a signal that's that's ham alert. I'm being heard. As you can kind of see by the, there we go. Now I'm getting a response back. As you can kind of see by the wallpaper in the background, this is build a pie from KM4 ACK. This is the same setup that I run for the FT8 off every Thursday night that we do on ham radio dudes channel and on my channel. We got a contact. Report sent, plus 11. Report received, minus 5. I'm going to go ahead and say OK on that. I'm going to let the RR73 go through, and then we're going to reconfigure for the 6100. That's going to require changing the antenna over and changing over the cat control and everything. All right, so we've got that out. All right, the antenna is moved. And the radio is coming on, powering up. And we're going to go to config, setup, transceiver. And we're going to change this over. Again, FL rig came out two days ago and the 6100 came out one day ago. So it's not going to be in here. However, Zygu has been making radios for a while. I'm going to go straight to the Zygu section. You've got a G90 and a 5105. And I'm going to pick 5105 because that's the one that I get to work. And this port no longer exists because the ICOM isn't here. So let's update this. And now we have the ports for the 6100. I'm going to pick 02 and I'm going to hit init. All right, that works. And if I change frequencies, it changed frequencies on the radio. So this is the IF02 port, the IF02 port. And real quick, let's bring up a terminal window. And let's do ls-al slash dev slash tt slash serial slash by dash id. And what you'll see is if02 goes to tty acm1. Uh, so you could, you could have also picked tty acm1. But either way, the radio is connected. If I click on the frequency, it does change on the front of the radio. Let me, let me snap a little video of that with my cell phone here. And I'll overlay it because magic, magic of video editing. Okay, so, where's the buttons? Eight, seven, six, five, four. So that's cat control working over FL rig. Okay, so now let's close the configuration. And let's open up WSJTX again. Sound and video, WSJTX. And this low power supply warning came up. 
after I plugged in the X6100. That's interesting. And let's pick 20 meters. And WSJTX crashed. All right, now we're on 20 meters. And it has picked the frequency right. Let's change over to 40. Yep, it changed to 40 and it crashed. Let's go back into sound and video, WSJTX. And we are on 40. 40 is just as good as 20 if you're playing along at home. Settings. We won't have anything in the waterfall because as you recall, I did not set up any audio devices. So the Burr Brown is gone because the Burr Brown is the 7300. And instead we have the C Media Electronics USB audio device, which is the USB audio device that's built into the 6100. We'll do that for input. We'll change over for output. And then we shall hit okay. And it crashed. Sound and video, WSJTX. Okay, so now I've got some audio coming in and I've got some waterfall signals. And I changed the TX and RX offset and it crashed. Do sound and video, WSJTX. One more thing to show if I can make it that far. And I'm not getting any audio in yet. Double check the configuration while it's doing its thing. Audio is still set to see media input and output like it's supposed to be. Okay, well you saw some on there before. So let's exit out of here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot this thing. So hang on a second. All right, so let's do Shut down, reboot. And that reboot should get rid of the low voltage warning as well. All right, we are back in. Let's do M radio, FL suite, sweet, FL rig. FL rig loads, it's on the 5105. It is changing frequencies. Let me let me show you that. FL rig does work. FL rig's just fine so far. All right, so let's do this handy dandy picture in picture thing. And 703, 7073, 7072, 1069. You can see I'm not touching the radio, so I don't have enough hands to touch the mouse, the radio, and hold the phone all at the same time. All right, so FL rig works. Let's go back into sound and video, WSJTX. Hope I see a little tiny bit of color on the waterfall. I'm, am I being deceived? I think I'm being deceived. So what I was gonna show you was I was gonna do an enable TX and watch WSJTX crash. Let's see what happens. And it crashed. So the question here is who's to blame for this one? And this is where my, my day job gets to be interesting is when you try to figure out, is it FL rig? I don't think so. I showed you FL rigs working. That doesn't mean that it couldn't be something with the radio definition. I understand there's not a radio definition for the 6100. This is breaking news. Um, could it be WSJTX? Possibly. Could it be the radio? Possibly. Could it be the sound configuration settings? Possibly. And by sound configuration settings, I guess I'm talking about um, Linux kernel drivers to get sound into the Raspberry Pi. So this is just information. This is just breaking news. I'm sure that this will get better. I'm very, very hopeful that the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth will come back in existence. Um, yeah. Either way, it's something fun to play with, and uh, it's, it's at this point my money and not yours, so stay tuned. Be, be sure to subscribe for firmware updates. I don't know. Anyway, I think there's another video over here. Oh, look, I did it right that time. Uh, over here that you will enjoy. Otherwise, thanks for being awesome.